to my channel. This is Sally. My YouTube channel's name is Sweet Style. Welcome back to my channel. And today's video is about this makeup look. Initially, I wanted to name the video um, as Christmas party makeup look. But uh, I guess this is like a millions of definition of Christmas party look that you can create. Um, and to me, uh, I just want to have like really fun and happy makeup look to go to my Christmas party with my colleagues. So I create I created this makeup uh, today, and I didn't really plan that, but um, I guess the effect turns out really good, and I really like this happy and pinkish makeup. If you are interested in getting to know how to create this makeup look, then please keep on watching. I'll tie my hair up first because I hate doing my makeup with all my hairs around. Cool. Okay, let's do it. Okay, although it's Christmas party, but first things first, Mm, I still need to go out under the sun, so sunscreen. Don't forget your sunscreen. It's from Ultraviolet. My all-time favorite. Anyway, all the products information will be listed down below in my information box, so you can go and check. Need lots of lots of sunscreens so that you won't be aging very fast. Okay, all done. Sunscreen's on, I feel well protected. Okay, next step will be foundation. Uh, I've chosen this one from NARS. So this is the, hmm, what's the name of it? Okay, it's a natural radiant long wear, or long wear foundation. It is my all time favorite. The shade is Santa Fe. It's the perfect shade for um, summer me. This foundation is just really, really smooth and uh, long lasting on my skin. The texture is brilliant. Uh, the effect on my skin is very much uh, in between matte and glowy. I can't say it's 100% matte, I can't say it's 100% like radiant glowy, but it makes my skin looks perfect, not perfect, like real, that real, um, like, you know, your skin just looks real as well as nice, <laughs> that's all I can say. Just tap it there, tap it on my skin first. I have I've still I've still um, chosen this foundation brush from Sigma. It's the flat kabuki brush. It works just perfectly with this foundation. You don't really need to do much. So it, like for me, I just using the dab motion and press, really press the foundation into my skin. Look, look at it, look at the, the radiance that this foundation given me so good I'm just obsessed with the fact I can say that I'm facing the camera doing filming when I do my makeup it's not the most enjoyable thing 
I think in the future I really need to find my most comfortable position to do my makeup in front of a camera. Yeah, that's a homework for myself. Done. I really love this foundation. If you haven't tried, please go and try. Although I haven't tried the uh, NARS new that matte foundation, but I'm sure that it won't be as good as this one. This is just the perfect, um, the perfect amount of uh, matte and glow I want. It's very like very balanced, very in between kind of foundation. It has the good coverage. But it's not like a full, full heavy coverage foundation that I hate. Okay, what's the next step? Concealer. I need to um, conceal my dark under eye circles and I really need to highlight my face. So, I do under eye a little bit. And then highlight my nose bridge. Cool. I think that's it. I don't want to use too much concealer. Ah, I forgot my sponge. I'll be right back. Okay. Got my sponge. This is what I usually do. I spread the concealer first. And really use the press motion to press the concealer into the skin and you can see it just appears so much so much lighter another one I know people, uh, people usually complain uh, the concealer is very drying and it's not responding to your own skin but uh, so that's why I really recommend this technique you know you use your finger um, tips to spread the concealer first and then use the sponge to um, press the rest of your concealer into your skin and your skin looks so much uh, moisturizing under your eyes now I want to um, quickly you know just settle down my concealer quickly I just put tiny little bit concealer under my eyes in my nose area because today will be like a long day and I really don't want my base to be melt or something I hate the kind of makeup okay Now I feel much safer. I won't close my setting powder because I need to use the rest of, the, uh, uh, rest of them to settle on my face. But before doing that, I need to quickly give myself a light contour. Today I'm going to use a... What am I going to use? I am going to use um, the contour cream or you call it bronzer cream from Huda Beauty and um, the shade is fair why do I use this one because I think today I'm going to take lots of pictures and um, videos um, when I when I go to at uh, the Christmas party house so um, yeah 
So this is the color. A little bit, a little bit like a muddy, but it looks really good with your full makeup on. So I'm going to use this one. And the way I play with this product is very easy. I just dip the dip and have a little bit product on my finger and then I just do this. Yeah, because I want a bit chiseled face structure because I have such big face. Like this. Okay. Light on my forehead because my forehead doesn't really need much. My jawline, my chain. And I'm going to use this brush. Uh, this is the Real Technique Expert Face Brush to work on my contour. I like this very round and cute Dove applicator. It's super good at pressing uh, my contour into my skin. Whoops, earrings. Okay, just like this. When I want a really um, like deep contour, I usually just press the contour into um, the skin and I won't spread it around. Um, so I remember when I really want a natural and just natural and like no makeup, makeup effect, I will spread it around and really melt into my skin. So for today, I just press the contour and I won't spread it. Because I want people to see. I guess this is like one of the benefits that I get. It's just when your husband is not around you, you can really have the time and the peace to, I guess, enjoy doing this girly things okay now I feel I have such a chiseled contoured face do I need to yeah I think I need to contour my nose a little bit as well so I'm just I'm gonna quickly do that always I always forget about my nose although I really need some contour around my nose Always forget. I think I, I still use this one. And then just pressing with my fingertips. Can you guys teach me how to be pretty in front of the camera? Because if I find myself um hard to deliver the beautiful face in front of the camera although my face is not even that pretty behind the camera <laughs> anyway it <clears throat> I think the facial control is um, is one big or big cause for a lot of people like you really need to learn I guess and practice okay Hmm. Contour's down. And I quickly set my face all around. I'll just use the rest of the powder. Just lightly settle. Set. Not settle. Because I don't want my contours gone. Just a light. Tap, 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 tap. 
I guess sometimes I press my face if I still feel they're a bit tacky. I'll use some more powder. Okay, next step will be blush. Blush, I've chosen this one from NARS. It's their Behave. It's a kind of new shade. Just kind of um, like nude pink um, because I really want to make the eye look stand out. So I guess I'll, I'll use a like a pretty nude, like a pinky shade, a pinky blush. Should be suitable for my today's makeup. I'll just use a light hand. I forgot to tell you guys, this is the Real Technique blush brush. I have two friends, two beds. I just say hi to them. What do I look? Good? Yeah, I think so. Today is not about <coughs> not about blush. Okay, how do I look? A bit more here, I think. And a little bit on my nose. I don't know why I'm so obsessed with the nose blush look. But I just feel like it looks more natural. Like you have naturally flushed cheeks. Okay, next step will be your highlighter. So today I'm using the Bobbi Brown highlighter powder. The shade is pink glow. Looks like this. On my cheek bones. I like to put the highlighter just under my eye, above my cheekbones, this area. I think it looks more natural. Okay. Yeah, when I put the highlight on, I like to use this this motion, this circular motion. To really work, work on your highlighter. And then, I guess, spread them into your skin. My nose. Today, really lots of makeup on my face. I haven't done this for a long time. Usually, Natural cream makeup is my go-to. There's still my go-to makeup style. But today, I guess I can sacrifice once for the party. <laughs> cool. Okay, the base. I'm just, I always look at this screen. It's bad, I know. But um, okay, I'm looking through the base is done. I really like this base. What do you think? Now it's the most important part in this today's makeup. It will be my eye makeup, and I've already chosen this palette, Tarte in Bloom. 
I have bought this Tarte eyeshadow palette for a long, long time. It is just so pretty. Look at them. It is my everyone's perfect neutral, natural eye palette, I think. And I am not good at doing those like very loud, very, mm, I guess just loud and colorful. I, I looks so I'll still stick with this kind of neutral palette. Um, but um, I still have this Natasha Denona Pure Love. This shimmery color on my hand. So I'm thinking maybe after I finish doing the neutral makeup look, I will add a little bit something something to my boring look. First, I'm going to use the NARS um, eye primer to prime a little bit on my eyelid. I just worry that um. My eye, look, I, my eye look won't last long in this kind of humid and hot Queensland weather. Oh, actually I forgot to do my eyebrows. I usually do my eyebrows before I do my eye makeup. I'll be right back, okay? After doing my eyebrows. Okay, I just finished my eyebrow. I think my eyebrow look um, a little bit thicker than usual. I don't know why. I think I did a terrible job um, on drawing this one but that's okay I am going to make it up by finishing my eye look okay yeah mm, so first I'm going to choose flower child this color just to overall neutralize my eyelid It doesn't have much color, so this is um I I'm using this color as a base. Wow, it's really hard to talk when I do my eye makeup. After this, I will use Smarty Pants. It will be this color. This color is so much deeper. So I'll, um, I use this one to make my whole eye structure stand out. And I'll put a little bit underneath my eyelid. I have really big eye space, so a lot of the times I like to just fully use it. Put a little bit more here. And under my eyes. Yeah, usually, you know, to be safe, I usually only use at most three colors on my eye makeup look. So, I'm still deciding one more color I use for today's makeup. Um, which color should I use? I think I will choose this one. 
Rainbow. Rainbow, this color. Let me see. Is it too light? I guess I just worry that this will be too light. Or maybe I'll go for this one. Yeah, I think I'll go for this one, hey. This is Lida. A little bit this Lida color. Really close to my um, eyelid and eyelashes. Yes, indeed, it's indeed smoky eye look. Hmm, I like it. Looks natural. Okay, the other one. And um, I like to spread this color around, deeper color around, and I call it like cling step. So my outlook will always look, you know, all the colors will be joined together. So yeah, I'm happy. I guess I'm happy with this look. I think next step I will I try to use this color because today's like still Christmas um, party theme so that's why I want a little bit like something something shimmery I guess so let's see I haven't tried this wow it looks really pinky Nice shimmer. Okay. Nice, 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 nice. How would I use this? How? Any suggestions? I'm scared. I think I will put a little bit here. Can you guys see? I'll also put it here. Oh, it's fun. I guess from distance, you can't really tell the difference. But for myself, I can. I can see the difference. This eye looks so much fun. This one. Put a little bit here. Here. I think I used a little bit too much. Put a little bit in the highlighter. This white highlighter color here because I just accidentally put too much red yeah okay oh yay I think I'm done I'm done with this eye look hmm do I look okay? I will draw a little bit of eyeliner really close to my eyelid. I don't know, no, on my eyelashes. And I'll drag it out a 
little bit. Uh, I guess that's the reason that I, every time when I do my eye makeup, I really hate it. This feeling of it, it just makes my eye itchy. Okay, but anyway, I've done my eye makeup. Okay, next step is my eyelashes. I'm just using the Kevin Corn eyelash color. Oh, I always use this one. It's nothing else. And competing to this eyelash color. And I'll use Aeropress Avocado High uh, Avocado Waterproof Mascara. The same. I haven't tried Kosas, uh, that Cling Big Mascara. I haven't tried that yet. But this one is so far my favorite. Aeropress, I don't know what else can compete with this. My eyelash is like really super easy to drop, so only this mascara can keep them curly. And they don't smudge at all, which is like magic to me. Okay, nearly lost stuff. New relax step. I see the lights down there. I'm just going to loose up my hair. Cause I really hate the tight feeling. Okay. Um Okay, I have a few options here to my lips. Her MAC lipstick and a Fenty Beauty lip gloss um, but I guess I am going to use this one as a combo today um, let's try okay I got inspiration from uh, a makeup influencer from YouTube I forgot her name but she used two uh, MAC lipsticks together and her lips looks amazing um, they are the color Devote to Chili and Diva. So I'm going to um, copy her look by using this Devote to Chili. Um, just to like softly, softly use as a base to my lipstick. Uh, to my lips. Really soft. Oh, all the colors always look more vivid on the camera. I, I swear that my lipstick just looks naturally flushed now. It looks so bright. I like mirror. Okay. This is devote to chili. After that, after that, I'm going to use diva. This kind of burgundy with a little bit purple tone in it. Draw the color. It oh. At the outer circle of my lips. Outer circle. Like this. And I'm going to use my finger tips to really smudge it. Really smudge it.
It looks so bright. I don't have a perfect lips lip shape, but um, that's why I like to use uh, this kind of strategy. Smudged lips. Because it will take the concentrate on your lip shape away. Look. Whoa, I look so different. Okay, this is uh, I, I just finished my matte lipstick. So, and I suddenly found a word for today's makeup. Don't you guys think mm, it, it looks like a happy pink makeup? I just found this theme of this makeup and I'm so happy. Well, it's been a long time I like I create this kind of uh, like full makeup look. Mm, it, this makeup, this makeup to me, it's definitely a full makeup look, um, and it because it it got the coverage, um, it got the eye makeup, it has the full lip color. So to me, it's definitely a full full makeup look. Wow, and it's pink. It's this kind of like mature palm pink. I really like it. I enjoy it. Okay, so last step, I think I will use this pretty, pretty, pretty lip gloss from Pen Fenty Beauty, and to enhance my lips. I'm obsessed with this big dolphin applicator. Okay. Wow! Look at this shine. I won't put full, I just use this to highlight at the points of my lips. That's it. That's it. What else? Swag. What's the word from Jin Fu Zhu? Swag! Hmm. I can feel that swagging myself today. Okay, this is the full makeup then. If you like today's makeup, please give me a video some thumb. Uh, and if you are new here and you like my channel, please subscribe to my channel so that you can see more videos in the future. Uh, okay, that's it. I think uh, I am going to join my teams to the Christmas party. So I'll see you in next one. Bye.